everybody so I thought while I have a second I'll do this kind of really quick video where I'm just going to show you all the products I've used up recently I've just kind of been saving stuff and it's all in here and there's a whole ton of stuff so I just thought I'd go into it really really quickly um the first thing is this John Frieda sheer blonde go blonder lightning shampoo I kind of I quite like this um it does work in lightening your shampoo or your hair color I kind of prefer the other one like the nourishing one not like for all for lighter blondes or something it's not meant to make you go blonder it's just meant to be good if you've got highlights or something but yeah this is quite good um the next thing is the this dry shampoo i don't really ever know how to pronounce that and it's like the cherry one it's the best one ever i just always buy this one now because it's just inexpensive and affordable um i have a really disgusting looking moisturizer bottle this is paul smith floral it came with like the actual perfume which i used up the perfume ages ago and i just had this lying around and i was like it needs to go so i use that up it's just a scented moisturizer nothing special i used to use up this moisturizer this is beauty rush it was by victoria's secret i think and it's a body glimmer swirl cream and it had like different colors in it i quite like this it smells really really sugary but there's nothing here now so yeah then i used up this crushed cranberry seed shower gel and i'm actually on like using another one at the moment i also used i had loads of moisturizers that i needed to use up if you can't tell um this one's the nivea body happy sensation one which i really liked i actually used to use this for years and this is like one of those big old bottles that you get in america um i don't think you can get them in the uk but yeah i used uh, an aussie miracle hair insurance this is like the stuff i use all the time um so yeah i love this stuff there's another one of these dry shampoos because i go through them too much another mini dkny um apple a day body lotion it just goes with, like the be delicious again this came with one of the perfumes i used up one of my good things fresh start creamy cleanser I love this cleanser I always repurchase this um, but currently I just use it in the morning I used to use it in the night and morning but I just use it in the morning at the moment there's another body wash that I used at this is an FC UK pure this is one of those ones that came in like a set that I think I got for Christmas or something um, my Garnier fresh essentials eye makeup remover which is one of my favorite eye makeup removers because it doesn't irritate my eyes every other eye makeup remover actually stings my eyes and this one doesn't so that is the best thing if you've got so i'd like recommend trying this if you have sensitive eyes um oh, something like that. a nail polish remover super strength one it's just one of those cheap ones you buy from a supermarket or wherever it's okay it's just a nail polish remover i used up a deodorant a dove one um Oh, I used up one of my perfumes. This is the Tresser in Love by Lancome. This is one of my favourites. I've actually got another bottle of this, like a smaller one now. Because I love it so much, but it's all gone. So I'm really sad about that. Um, I used up this sort of mini me 7th Heaven mini primer. And this stuff smells really like lemony it smells really good i actually am thinking of re like buying the full size because this was in like a glossy box um it's an rich face moisturizing face base but i really like this because it is really moisturizing and in the winter i get really dry skin so this is just awesome but i'm kind of using up other primers and stuff at the moment before i think about buying a full size of that one so i'm actually gonna keep this little pot um i used up one of my clinique super balanced makeup and i'm oh in <laughs> number three ivory but yeah, it's always sad to use up one of them. But it never looks like you've used them up. But I promise you, I can't get like a thing out of this. Um, and then uh, there is one of these concealers. This one's the L'Oreal one, I think. Yeah, the Touche, Touche Magique, I think. And I never know what colour I am in these because it kind of says on the bo like the packaging it comes in, but it doesn't actually say on the product, which really annoys me. And it's just one of these kind of brush ones i've actually bought another one a maybelline one and they're kind of the same thing but yeah i did really like this and then i have a whole ton of mascara that i've thrown out and just kind of kept um <laughs> so there's loads there's <coughs> my voice the 
Great Lash Black is Black by Maybelline. I like this. I can show you the wand. It's got one of these funky ones. It's actually still like wet. But um, I do like this mascara and I have always liked it. I've kind of come back to it and all that. But it's just not super amazing. But um, it's okay. It's, you can always pick it up really cheaply. So it's alright. Um, the next one is this Bourjois Volume Gamma Ultra Care. And this is meant to be like good for sensitive eyes or something. Again, it's okay, it's not brilliant. This one's properly dried up and probably should have gone in the bin ages ago. It's got like a really odd brush, but um, this was, again, it was okay. Two times volume and care. Regenerating and nourishing with cotton and sweet almond oils. So, maybe it made my eyelashes grow. I don't know. Ooh. And then, there is this one. I really loved this mascara, it's Blink and Go. And this was in my glossy box and I actually repurchased this. This is like the repurchase that's run out now. Um, and this is Long Lasting Black Mascara. And I actually, this this is great. It does give you kind of clumpy-ish lashes. It's got a tiny brush, you can use it on your bottom lashes and you can get all in the little corners and stuff. So it is a really good mascara, but it's just a little bit too clumpy for me. It, I find it, it's good for the first month and then after that it's kind of, it just, makes you kind of have spidery lashes so I'm not going to repurchase it now. Um, this is the Dior Show Blackout, I love this mascara, it's got the biggest brush in the world, it's just huge and amazing. We'll always love this one, so you are. And I have another Dior Show one um, and this is actually like in the purple colour and again it's got a huge brush and this was a present but it's dried up now. And then the last thing was volume lashes and it's so like worn there's like things coming off and this is the waterproof one and this has got like a really odd brush and this wasn't as good as i thought it was going to be it had loads of people love this mascara and it just kind of fell through for me but yeah so that's everything thanks for watching everybody bye